You know what? Screw it. Let's vote. Well, good morning, everybody. Josh Brown over here with Texas Boat World again. And uh, you know, it's that time of the year. All these, all these pages are real active with posts and uh, especially these boat fails pages. You gotta cut to the right. No, no, it's counterintuitive. You gotta cut left. I know how to drive. Uh, something I see every year. And man, a lot, of, a lot of these guys backing up trailers that are stressed out. They're making some simple mistakes that are easy to fix. Now cut the wheel, cut the wheel. No, the other way. Uh, and they get nervous on the ramp and you know, you get a line of people waiting for you and Stop looking at us! It makes what seems to be a pretty simple task a pretty difficult one. So, today, I'm gonna talk about just a couple little things that you can do to help make your life a little easier out on the ramp when you're trying to get your boat in beside somebody or even if you got it out there by yourself uh, and just how to practice and uh, make it a little bit smoother of an experience on the water. I feel like everyone watching knows I'm incapable of pleasing my wife sexually. So, hang out. Let's learn how to back up. So, I can't get out to our local ramps. They're all shut down at the moment, uh, save for one. And I didn't want to shoot a video and hold the ramps up out there while I'm making a video. So, we're over here in one of our neighboring parking lots. And I'm going to pretend this is my boat lane and we'll, we'll go out of this area and then back into this area. And I just hooked on to one of our, uh, one of our units here and we're going to use it. Now, uh, first thing we're going to talk about is single axle versus tandem axle. Uh, it kind of changes what you're doing, especially, especially when you got a real short wheelbase, something like a, uh, a jet ski trailer or something like that. They are hyper responsive in comparison to something like this, which is still single axle, but you got a lot more room to work with. It's still going to be much more responsive uh, than your tandem axle. So just know that, you know, this is going to vary based on, based on what you're pulling and what you're backing up a little bit. Concept's still the same. It's just going to be the... Uh, responsiveness of the trailer uh, when we're backing up to how quickly it responds to what you're doing inside of your truck. All right, so we're gonna pull, we're gonna pull up and we're gonna try to line ourselves up with this ramp here. So we'll pull up and we'll pull forward back up until I feel like the boat is fairly lined up here. Now, Starting on top, we'll see a lot of people, they'll make crazy adjustments. And you could see making these kind of adjustments, kind of what it does to the boat here. It's very hard to control. I'm overcorrecting. There's a lot of a lot of movement in the trailer. And we don't need that and we don't want that. So once I'm lined up, it's just little small adjustments. And remember, as a beginner, once you once you're a little more proficient, we can get our hands up here. Uh, but as a beginner, what I really want to focus on is just learning, learning how to control the boat with direction of hand. So at the bottom, I need the boat to go what's going to be to my left right now. So my hand moves slightly to the left. And you'll see it starts to correct itself here. And I'm, I'm not moving fast. And as you get more comfortable, you know, then you can speed up. Now I'll straighten it out a little bit there. And uh, I'm comfortably in my lane. Now from here, once I'm in the center of that lane, now all I've got to do is keep that, keep that wheel still and travel down the, down the lane there, okay? Super simple, hope this helps somebody. Thanks. <laughs> 